so we've seen what a forever young BBL looks like. That's using light energy to make uh, skin look clear. Now we're going to explain uh, how the halo works. It's actually a hybrid laser. It's the world's first laser that uses two beams at the same time to help with correction. This correction will be more texture related. It will help do a, um, it'll help peel a bit off the surface. It will help stimulate collagen and it will also help treat reds and browns. But um, mainly this will give a glow in about six weeks. It will stimulate hyaluronic acid production and it'll make the um, face look like it has almost a, um, you know, a painted, look like it's been painted with hyaluronic acid, so nice and shiny. Um, we love this glow because it will last for about a year. And we also love this treatment because we can vary it depth wise and how intense it is. And um, we love that there is minimal downtime. So Carrie has agreed to help with this demonstration today and her skin will look um, a bit red and puffy for about two to two and a half days and then her skin will feel really dry for about two days. But afterwards, she will um, notice improvement in her skin tone and texture and um, ultimately love it, right? Yes. I, I think she can speak from experience, right? Love it. Okay, perfect. So um, what I'm gonna do first, before I even put um, stickers on your eyes, is I'm gonna do some measurements of your face because the computer is able to uh, put together the measurements from her face and then I'll put in the, um, the intensity and the depth and the, the other uh, pieces and then it will assimilate it and tell us when we've put enough energy into each area of her face. So let's start by taking some measurements. So I'm just gonna kind of glide. This is the piece that touches the skin and glides along the skin and I'm just gonna roll this Do that one more time. Perfect. And now we're gonna measure the perfect. Now we're gonna measure your forehead. So Halo is made by the company Cyton. And our practice was actually the first one in Cincinnati to get it. So I'm just going to go ahead and roll this on your nose. And then just close your eyes. Perfect. So the next thing I'm going to do is turn on the vacuum piece that's going to help suction any um, cellular debris away from your skin. And then I'm also going to give you carry this hose, which is called the Zimmer, and it's going to help to cool your skin down. And you can use that as you feel you need to, okay? So now we're going to put some stickers on your eyes, protect them. you doing? I'm good. So when we tell patients what they can expect from a halo, they can expect a lightening, a brightening, and a tightening effect. And that's what makes it so popular. We're going to start with this area of your forehead. And when the computer tells us we've put enough energy in there, we're going to move to this side, then you, your right cheek, then your left cheek, and then your nose. Okay? 
Can you feel it? Just a little? Just a tiny bit. The crackling sound is the laser, which is erbium, creating a small hole down into the skin. Doing okay? On a scale of one to 10, if 10's the worst pain, and zero is none, what number would you give this? Maybe a one. Maybe. Give that. So what I'm doing is going back and forth. Gently, and I'm watching to see, the computer will tell me when we are finished in this area. She'll feel hot, like she has a sunburn, for about 30 minutes after the procedure. And then she's gonna wear a moisturizer to keep dirt out of the skin and keep moisture in for um, about two days. And after that, she can go ahead and wear mineral makeup and sunscreen, be good to go. So oftentimes people will have this treatment done on a Thursday or Friday. They'll be back to work by Monday. This is one of my favorite treatments because it can also be done on the neck and the chest. It's also very effective um, for, uh, it's just been kind of found that it's been treat, it helps treat reds. So with people who have a lot of redness, we can make adjustments to make a significant difference for them. Sometimes we see some pinpoint bleeding with doing the halo, but that's not the case today. That's not what we're trying to achieve at this point. We kind of did that earlier in the year. We're doing a more superficial treatment today. Sometimes people ask what's the right age to do a halo, and really every age is a good age to do a halo because we can change the settings to target what your particular concerns are. Anywhere you want improvement of the skin tone and texture. So halo, especially on the face, takes less than 30 minutes. You feel warm for another 30 minutes and then let the healing begin. But I do think it makes a great impactful change to skin. And that's what I really like to do is change skin. Change it for the better. So I'm gonna put a moisturizer and a tinted sunscreen on and she'll be good to go.